Good morning, Cyber Traders, and welcome back. Hopefully, everyone's having an exciting day with this TCCO. Can't do better than that, right? Nice little call out early this morning at 350. Great announcement on that. Nice little move. Beautiful. TCCO. Beautiful, man. Who made money on it? Who did well? I can see all these numbers coming up on my screen. Look at that. Ben, you did. Chuck, you did. Kathleen, Benito, everyone. I think I, I think I think we all probably I think the trading room probably made close to maybe, I don't know, tens of thousands. Not hundreds, tens. Maybe a hundred thousand, I think, was probably made in this room so far. If everybody jumped into this stock, and you know what's so funny? When you look at this stock right here, I just want to tell you, I called this stock out at eight o'clock in the morning. This stock made its move. You could see it right there at eight o'clock. And it may if somehow it made its pop around 830. Actually, it's really not a good looking chart. Let me bring up a one minute chart because that one you see a little better. Did a little bit of a Fausto flag, broke out of five, then went to six, thing went to seven. I mean, if everyone jumped in when you were supposed to at three o'clock and you came in, it did exactly the eight o'clock move, 830 move. And I mean, what, what does a thousand shares cost you? Three thousand dollars? Are you serious? You got right there for all of you, you paid for your training course just on that one stop. That's why I told you, you got to be in here early, okay? But before we go um, and start bragging and talking about the TCCO, and um, there's a few other ones, let me just kind of remind everybody, today we have classes again. Hopefully everybody went over phase one. Phase two is going on this morning. Um, phase two, uh, we got going on, oh, December 13th. So hope everybody's ready for that one. Yep, we got phase two. That's right, we did phase one. And... Uh, we got the, the phase two coming up. So just make sure you do your classes. And most importantly, we got Traders Talk that's coming up. Um, so don't forget about missing Traders Talk. You don't have to go anywhere. That's all cyber group members and everything else. All right. Now, let's get back to what happened yesterday and talk about what had some nice moves. We had the CGC that had a really nice move yesterday. Let's just bring that one up right there. Uh, I don't know why my system is running so slow. CGC, not a really good looking chart right there. There we go. So CGC, uh, CGC had a really nice move. Once again, 930, ran from $19 all the way to 21. Great move. Everybody was done by 11 o'clock. That's the norm norm for us. The CV, um, the CSV, the CLVS, which is also spelled it wrong. A little fat fingers gotten away. That one also had a really, really nice move. And then over the course of the middle of the day, 11 o'clock, it ran from 980 all the way to 11. That stock took a really big hit. And a really crazy one was the FTSV, okay? So that one was the real crazy one. And that one is, guess what? Going back on a watch list again, the FTSV. There you go right there. Look at that, 16 all the way to 28. Look at that, she's up to 32. Look at that chart right there, okay? So uh, it was a great, great day trade. More importantly, it became a swing trade. And how you know it became a swing trade? Just being in the right place at the right time after several days. You would have probably known after it broke 8, then 10, then 12. You know, and once it broke uh, once it broke, it broke the high, boom, the thing just took off. So that was our big winner. But anyway, who cares? That was yesterday, right? You know, people look at it. And it's so funny. When, when you see stocks like this, people laugh and like, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Listen, we do it every effing day. Every effing day. Come on, guys. And what do we do it? We're doing it again right now with the TCCO. Look at that. She's breaking all-time highs again. She's making, you know, I'm seeing over here on the level. Um, hold on, let me fix this chart right here. This system is doing is doing such crazy volume, it's even slowing my system down. Um you can see it's breaking an all-time high. It's already at 750. Um, I see some decent buyers out here around seven, several thousand. You see a 5,000 share buyer sitting out here at level four. You know, um, you can see, but you can see, I see a lot of orders getting done. You can see here on the right-hand side, you can see where those orders are. But uh, stock's been really strong. Guys are doing great. You could, you're going to have to go back. Uh, I was looking on a long-term chart. You got to go back about a year or two. And you can see here the stock, listen, right now we're trading right around here, around the 8. It probably is going to test right here close to 9. Could go all the way to about 15. Some of you remember this stock right now just from, from history shows. It could be a short, another short squeeze. Ben just made another 30, 65 cents on it. I mean, listen, 
<laughs> it's just just keep bringing just keep ringing that cash register all right just keep bringing it everybody should make money and when I told you guys to trade one share of it I, I don't do that as a joke I do because some of you guys don't know what it's like to be in a stock that's up 257 percent so anyway this stock let me tell you right now it is now has changed from a level one stock where it was this morning you know at eight o'clock where you should have gone in it got to the three four category so it has got it's got some pretty strict uh, crazy volatility it's got a big spread and obviously the reason for that is because um you know the stock is volatile uh ben says uh tcco keeps paying i i miss tcco about bali listen bali listen you just started okay listen and you probably missed the ftsv yesterday and you know what that's okay that's fine don't worry about it we do it every day we do it every day it just bothers me people like you know, uh, just the other day, uh, we I had a student uh, w wanted to do this, and like, and I and he's like, he couldn't believe it. the first thing he said to me, and I said to him, when was the last time? When was the last time you saw a stock that went from like a um, dollar to eight dollars, or three to twenty-five, or twenty-five to eighty, like KOD and the ASLN and the BNGO? He says never. He says, and you know what's funny? I never knew I saw this every day in, in the cyber trade room. But the thing is, you're not going to get every single one of them. As long as you know, you you know, I, I don't know if anybody here fishes, but, you know, everybody's like, you know, like, where's the hot spots? Where, you know, where, where do you fish? Where'd you catch that fish? You know what? You're on that charter boat, guys. And we're going to be there. And you know what? You ever go on a charter boat, everybody's hitting fish and you don't get the big one. Eventually you'll get it. As long as you know you're on the right boat and that's what it's all about so let's talk about what else is moving because obviously there's a few other ones that are moving c o n n i want to throw back on them throw this one on the watch list here's a stock that's just taking a very nice hit right here from 21 down to 15. she's starting to come up a little bit uh she's got some support levels you could see here back um you know back in the beginning of the year obviously we're looking at a weekly chart here but you could definitely see you got some support levels it's testing right around here so you know it looks like it tested it it's got some nice it's got some nice buyers and sellers out there right up our alley l i t b another one that looks pretty good uh very cheap little stock it's got a very nice spread hundred thousand shares great orders by the way got a twenty three thousand share sell that's holding the stock down at a buck sixty five so you got to break that one out you know but uh but you know what not as volatile and not the the glory of a 250% winner, but hey, you know what? 65%, not too bad. You know, I'll, I'll take that. And, um, you know, listen, I found a couple of them this morning too that really didn't pan out. You know, I mean, obviously logging at eight o'clock this morning, you see that I did the postings of uh, like OBSV, S SFX, CNNN, CLVS. They really didn't move too much, but the number one stock on that list was the TCCO. All right, listen. You say it all the time. Early bird gets the money, all right? But don't worry. Tomorrow's another day, all right? Uh, but once again, regarding about this stock right here, be the, F, the FTSV, just be very careful because it is kind of volatile, all right? All right, guys. Uh, so listen, it's not a really big list. It's not a really big list. We made a lot of money on this stock, TCC, already. Uh, we'll probably have to wait until the market opens up to find something else. I didn't see any good bottom fishes out there. I mean, there are a couple of stocks like Fran that's moving and stuff like that. Uh, you know it's coming back a little bit so that one too and uh, I think that's about it not really a lot out there and so, something all right guys so listen hopefully all you new members here that logged in the morning are having a great time if you've missed it don't worry about it you always have tomorrow but the game's not over market opens up in about 15 minutes so we'll start live order commentary around that time just in the meantime um, Honestly, if you made a lot of money today, I know we I know we made tens, maybe hundreds of thousands in this room this morning. I'd probably call it a day, I'll be honest with you. I really would. So, you know what? You could always give it back and you don't want to do that. All right. But um, but if you don't go anywhere, just make sure you salvage. Remember, the biggest things we teach you, and you're gonna be learning in this class going this week, it's all about money management skills. You know what? I, I said this in my advanced class, uh, phase three class. You know how many people hit lotto? okay and file bankruptcy i actually have a google thing on my phone and i asked google uh actually i asked google right now i have one on, on my desk hey google 
How many people filed bankruptcy who, who were hit lotto? Here is some information for what percentage of lottery winners go bankrupt. On the website nefe.org, they say, Denver, over the past couple of years, several news organizations have attributed a statistic to the National Endowment for Financial Education, stating that 70% of lottery winners end up bankrupt in just a few years after receiving a large financial... 70%, 70% people fail and blow up their accounts, hit lotto. Could you think, how could anyone actually blow up their account, 70% of it? Well, guess what? It's one of the big things about trading, too. People always ask, you know, how... Uh, you know, one of the biggest things we teach you is not how to make money. That takes that, that's, you know, that takes care of itself. It's all about money management skills. So that's what we're going to be really focusing on in classes. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And don't worry about it. If you missed any of these, we'll find some new ones once the market opens up. All right. Happy trading, everybody.